Hello, happy Monday. I know I said I wouldn't be making a video before Thanksgiving, but I received some happy mail today in my P.O. box, and it is from Kristen. She had sent me an email this morning letting me know that it was there, which was perfect because I had some errands to run and I had some stuff to drop off at the post office. So, thank you very much, Kristen. Look how beautiful this is. Kristen is just such a very, very sweet lady. She, um, she is who adopted, um, Noelle and Cadence, uh, the twin A and twin B sculpt. Are they, I don't know if they're supposed to be in any specific order. Another thing we have in common is a love of this show. Happy late birthday. Hugs. Kristen, Cadence, and Noel. Both cards say that. Well, thank you very much. These are really cool decks. Oh, it ties. I'm sorry if I sound exhausted, ladies. My niece is arriving tomorrow. And so today I have been, as you can see, I'll show you in a second, there are no babies on this bed. We had the great baby migration last night. So all the babies are in the next room. And then today I did finish up Serenity. I got her... I think that's like woven through there. Um, I'll put that there so you have something to look at while I work with this knot. Um, I got a uh, Serenity matte sealed and then I textured her eyebrows. So both girls are just ready for hair. Let's see. book. Oh, and let me guess. This might be number two. Oh, I'm so excited. I absolutely love this show so very much. And Suzanne, if y'all watched my happy mail from Suzanne, she sent me the first book. Oh, I tell you what, Kristen, I'm still reading that other book you sent me. This is so fun. Oh, my word. I tell you, after I get my crochet orders done and these babies done, I think I'm going to take a few days to just read. I used to read every day and that's book two. Oh, thank you so very much. If y'all have not seen this show, it truly is so well done and the storylines are fabulous, but you're watching history take place. I mean, it's so well done. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much, Kristen. This is so lovely of you and uh, Cadence and Noel to send these. Oh, so many joy bubbles, ladies. I tell you what, this is fabulous. And I won't ruin any of but this, oh, I said the other day about Chummy. This is Chummy. I don't, I have such a kindred spirit with her. I don't know why. And that's Chummy at her wedding. Oh, I just, I, I love everybody in this show, but there's just something to me special about Chummy. I don't know what it is. And somebody else said, I can't remember who in the comments said that Chummy was their favorite too. And these bags are lovely. Kristen, thank you. Thank you so very much. That was so very kind of you. And I will treasure these. I, you know, I'm a huge reader and I like to read books. And then if I love them, they go to my library. If they were okay or not so much, I donate them. But these will be treasured. I already know I'm going to love them because 99% of the time the book is better than the movie or the show. I can say, honestly say, the only one where I thought was on par in all my years was The Help. The book and the movie were so they're both very well done, and I didn't feel like they chopped it up when they made the movie. So I, I don't know about, I mean, I think it was Debbie, um, Deb of um, Mad Hatter DJ said that the, I think you said the books were better, I can't remember, but she has also um, read them, and um, and Suzanne, and it's so fun to know how many of us love, of, the, of us love this show. I've had several other people comment that they also love the show. So for any of you who have not seen Call the Midwife, I highly recommend you see it. 
and um, I will go put this with my book. It's on my nightstand. I have the other book you sent me, Kristen, and also Suzanne's, epi not episode one, volume one, and then I'm going to add these. So these are my books to read maybe over the Christmas. Uh, I'll take a, 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 cup, a little bit of a break. Um, but right now I'm planning to, um, while my niece is here, I'll probably do a bit of crocheting. I don't know how much. I'm actually going to go crochet right now. I've got some baking in the oven. But there are no babies, ladies. I took this all apart today and washed all the linens and set up my little guest towels there and put a little snack bowl and some flowers for her. But anyway, um, so while my baking is finishing, I am going to crochet and then I think it's going on like eight or something. I don't even know what time it is. I've lost all track of time. I lost a couple hours chatting on the phone with an insurance company. Hmm. That did not bring me joy. But um, anyway, so I've been busy today between getting ready for my niece and finishing up the babies. My goal was to have them everything done but rooting by today. So I did achieve that goal. So um, I will more than likely not be rooting while she's here, but I may uh, try to crochet. Um, the reason being is I'll more than likely, you know, we go to bed in the evening. I can crochet in my room. I don't root in my room because of my allergy to the mohair. I don't want any of that getting on my bed and then I sleep in it. Oh, that'd be a mess. Anyway, so, um, so we'll see. So once she goes home, I'll begin rooting those two babies and they should be ready soon. I am still waiting for Little Pixie's shoes. I actually just realized they didn't come in the mail today, so I'm going to go message her. So Kristen, you are such a dear, and I just cherish so very much our lovely messages, and I am praying for you, and I know you're very busy with all your Christmas stuff, so uh, I'm just thankful we stay in touch, and please do give Cadence and Noel a big hug and a kiss from me. All right, everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.